Hey guys, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Listen, this is Actors Daily Bread episode 161. Today I am talking about how much marketing is too much. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to talk about that today. I know it's been on you guys' minds. Um, let me just check the room. Give me one second to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, I don't have anyone on just yet, so let me come on over. If you can hear me, if you're watching this, just give me a thumbs up or say yes, you can hear me, um, just because I'm in two places at once. Okay, I'm coming over to Hollywood Bound Actors Space Group. What's up to all the Hollywood Bound actors? I just want to make sure the volume's not up there. Good, 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 good. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. Okay, I'm streaming in both places. Hey, Cherie, thank you so much. All right, listen, I'm going to get into it, and as people pop on, you can watch this and say hi. Say hi as you come on. Hey, I'm Christine Horn, professional working actors of 20-plus years and life and career coach for actors just like you. This is Actors Daily Bread. You're in luck. What's that black line on my screen? Oh, that's like a little bar. This is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. If this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. Hey, come on in the room. The water's fine. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, okay, I'm going live on my business page. I'm streaming to the Hollywood Bound Actors page. So if I don't see you, your comment on Hollywood Bound Actors, immediately that's what's going on. But listen, let's talk about it. Some of you have been inboxing me. Unless you've been living under a rock, uh, we've all heard about the young lady who got the billboard, and maybe you haven't. Okay, so in case you haven't, there's a, there was a um, young lady in Georgia who put up a billboard. I don't know if she's in Georgia, but that's where the billboard was, and it was actually near Tyler Perry Studios in East Point, Georgia, where I actually moved from two years ago. Um, and so there was, it went viral. So if you are an actor, I'm sure you've heard about it. And many of my clients and people in my Facebook group are like, Christine, you gonna talk about it? And I've just had a super busy week, um, gratefully. But, you know, so I wanted to just, she lives in New York, thank you. That's what I thought, it was like, because I knew some New York actors who were like, I know her. And I have some friends who know her. So no, no part of this video is a bash of any kind, but I wanted to share my perspective, especially since this is stuff that I like to teach and that I work on with myself and my, and my clients. Uh, what's up, Shana Nikki Woods? Hey, long time. So the question kind of became, how much marketing is too much? And you know, this is something I definitely teach in my Booking Magnet Academy, and I personally am a big advocate of marketing but I, the, what I want to talk about or what, what I wanted to share my point of view on was just the difference in how I would have approached it so I, this today I'm not even talking about was she right or wrong you know that's not even for me to decide but I can give my my two cents on it you know I had some I have some uh manager friends some casting director friends so i had shared it on my facebook page and they gave some of their feedback their overall feeling was oh man like one of them was like she could have spent that money on you know new headshots a new great class um some other things producing her own content you know and one of the uh, casting directors who i know was like you know there are some industry boards where people you know she's on alert on these inside industry boards that only industry people are on and they have mixed feelings about it so here's what i think um i believe that marketing is essential to the work that we do we have to let people know that we exist. How you do that is where things can go wonky. And I'm, I'm talking about this because, you know, it's, it's moments like this that some actors who are new to the game, or even some of us, some of us who, are, who are seasoned and are up-leveling our marketing, <clears throat> I haven't had my tea yet, you guys. <laughs> Those of us who are up-leveling, it's moments like this when someone does something very bold, very outside of the box, and the, and the reception of it is not wonderful, right? It may have gone viral, but in what way? Is it good or bad? We, only she can tell us that, right? But if overall, it didn't feel super positive to me because of Mr. Perry did reply to her, and he gave her, and he replied in a very succinct way. But it's this moment where other actors would be like, see, that's why I don't market myself. See, every time they, they say they don't want postcards, so I'm not going to do postcards because you saw what happened to that other girl. 
And I hate that that moment has to happen this way because I don't want any of you who are new on the marketing train getting discouraged by that. There's so many opinions in this industry. You can go to four different panels next week. If you went to four different panels with a bunch of different casting directors and producers, you would hear something different on each panel. And you, at the end of the fourth day, you're probably just going to leave confused. Like, I don't know what to do. This one don't like postcards. This one loves gifts. This one don't want to hear from actors at all. This one loves actors. Like, everybody has a different opinion. So that leaves you to do what? Make your own decision. And so what I, what I teach, and I only teach what I do for myself, and my students know that. Shout out to Trafina. Hey, Trafina Wade. Um, I only teach what I do personally. And I have my marketing, I call love notes. So anyone who's ever watched any of my videos or who's taken a course from me knows that I call when I send marketing, I'm sending love notes. Why do I call it that? And did you come on guys? Say hi. I see you watching. Happy Saturday. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like, you know, help the Facebook algorithm. Okay. Um, I call it love notes because I believe anything that anyone receives from me should be filled with love. I'm all about love, good energy, positivity. It's not, hey, can you book me? Hey, see me? Hey, right? It's about how can I let you feel the energy and the love that is in my heart when you get a piece of mail from me? I got a thank you note here with, the, with some, um, a note of who I need to send this to. You know what I mean? And it's not, it's like, thank you for everything. Like, thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for every audition, right? And this is what I teach. I always teach about finding common ground. My students are going to be shaking their head. And that means really doing your due diligence, doing your research on the internet about the people that you are targeting. It's not just, oh, you're Oprah Winfrey or, oh, you're Tyler Perry. Oh, you're Ava DuVernay. You know, it's like, why, outside of what I think you can give me, what is it about you as a human that I want to get to know more or that I really admire. And if I really do the research, if I really Google, if I find interviews, if I find uh, talks or, uh, that you've done, books that you've written, and then I can take the time to really find something that truly resonates with me as a woman, as a human being, as an actor, then when I pull that quote or I pull that, that article that you did, and I reach out to you because I can find your information online. It is public or I can tweet you or send you a message. And I say, man, you know, Ava DuVernay, you, when I watch When They See Us, this made me feel X, Y, and Z. Every, every project that you put your hands on, especially when it touches me to my core. You did in an interview I read back in, you know, 1997 when you were still doing PR, you said X, Y, and Z. And I never forgot that. That really inspired me and helped me to keep going in my journey. So I just wanted to say thank Thank you. And, you know, I will continue to follow your career and, and I hope I would love to let you continue to follow mine. You know, it's like really being genuine and understanding you're just talking to a human being. You're just talking to a human being. Hey, Debrika, welcome. And that is why I call it love notes. And then anything you send in the mail, through Twitter, through Instagram, if you do not feel like it's coming from a place of love, it ain't right. You know, Marion Williamson, shout out to Marion Will Williamson, whose book Return to Love. If you haven't read that book, please do. It's a classic. It's where that ma amazing quote comes from. And it's not our light, our fear, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm talking about? That we, um, but she talks in her book, A Return to Love, that we are either operating from love or we're operating from fear. And I want you to hold on to that as well. So if you decide that you're going to do some marketing, make sure it's coming from a place of love not fear. And when I say fear, that could also equate to desperation. And to me, my opinion is that anything I put out should not be like, have a feeling of desperation. Like if you don't get me for this job, if you don't book me for this job, I don't know what's going to happen. And my personal opinion, this is not shade to the sister, that felt like a piece of desperation. What I will give kudos to is the fact that she was like, shit, I'm going to I'm going for it. I'm going to do something. Somebody, my name will be on the, on the tongues of many people. And for that, she did succeed. Thinking outside the box, she did succeed. But let me tell you this too. Yes, I also do agree that the money invested could have been inv invested in a different way. But I ain't in the sister's pocket either. So again, I'm not going there. However, each and every be watching, whether you're watching me live or watching the replay, don't forget, we have billboards all around us that you guys forget. 
when we're done with this live, go look at my Facebook page. Go look at my Twitter page. Don't forget that cover photo is a billboard. That is your personal billboard. And each of these uh, social media platforms is your network. So you got Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, IGTV, LinkedIn, per uh, Periscope. Is it still around? Periscope? <laughs> But each of those, that's your CBS, your NBC, your USA, your TNT. Those are your networks. And each cover photo you have is a billboard. You have empowerment to do have a call to action. You can have links to your demo reels. You can do all that stuff. And if you want to step it up and invest, you can use Facebook ads. And so many times I'm using Facebook ads to get your attention. But I'm not like, hey, Trafina Wade, hey, Zabrika Wright Pearson, hey, Sheena Foss, see me, right? No, I, I give value. So what value are you bringing to the market place? We are all businesses. We are all entrepreneurs here, right? And so a first rule of sales is to make sure you have something of value. And yes, your talent is of value and people have to know you exist. But how are you letting us know that? I would rather you, but anyone at the sound of my voice, I'd rather you save, invest money in creating your own work, creating your own platform, creating your own magic, using the billboards and the resources and the networks and the channels in your favor. And trust and believe, baby, they will come to you. There are people who have jobs who, who, whose job it is to scroll YouTube for new shows, see who's getting views, see who's getting likes. And if you're coming on, guys, make sure you hit like and uh, just say hi or something. That helps my algorithm right? So love-based marketing, not fear-based. And again, fear equals desperation. So what difference will it be if, I, if you send me a thank you note, but it's not really a genuine thank you. It's like, thank you so much for calling me in for that audition. Uh, please let me know if there's anything else you want me to come read for. You know, I'm really talented. I really want to be in one of your shows. Like that feels like, okay, thirsty. Slap and dicey. <laughs> and I think, not I think, I know when I coach actors, especially actors who are new to my Booking Magnet Academy, and if you don't know anything about that, the link is above or below. In the beginning, there's always resistance. Any of my clients who are on this thread who will watch the replay later, they will tell you there's always been resistance. Sheena, did you have any resistance in the beginning? Trafina, did you have any resistance in the beginning? Arisha, any resistance? In the beginning, there's always a little resistance. Like, uh, I don't know. Are they going to blackball me if I send this? I don't think they like postcards. I don't know. And then you get to a point. <laughs> and then you get to a point where you're like, no, I'm coming from a good place. Some of my clients were like, should I send a thank you? I'm like, who don't like to be thanked? I like to be thanked. I like to be appreciated. And the people that we're trying to reach out to and build relationships with are the same way. So let me hear any questions. Those some questions are in the comments. Let me come over to the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. And I'm going to keep today, if you're just hopping on, you can catch the replay, of course. But we're talking about how much marketing is too much marketing. So many of you have asked me to talk on the sister with the billboard. And that's what we've been talking about. So if you missed any part of this, um, you please watch the replay. At the end of the day, my goal is to teach all of you about love-based marketing, um, operating out of love and not out of fear. Fear 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 doesn't work for you in any way because fear leads to desperation and no one wants to hire the, the thirsty desperate actor um but let me come any questions you know what is the main piece of resistance that you feel i'm gonna pick on you sheena because i know you're a client of mine um trafina thank you for commenting she says yeah there was definitely resistance in the beginning now a thank you is automatic i send it and go on about my business no stress over it thank you for sharing that trafina and shout out to trafina wade in new york amazing actress who's been with me for a minute and that is i love your transparency there is resistance in the beginning because it feels weird it feels like oh they don't know me but now she says the thank you is automatic and why we say thank you for everything somebody cuts you know say excuse me oh can i have one of those oh thank you oh thank you we say thank you a million times a day so why can't we say thank you to someone who took the time to call us in and give us time and also, you know, anything that we send through the mail or through the internet or social, you know, I always tell my students, send it and release the attachment to some to a return on that. 
So we're not sending the thank you like, oh, this got to be the card that gets me that audition or this got to be the card that gets me that next booking, right? It is sending love out into the world. I know I'm sounding real woo-woo to some of you, but that's how I operate. And that is the energy that goes to the mail or goes through Twitter or Instagram. And when I release the attachment to an outcome, I am now free. Whether you open it or not, whether your assistant opens it and trashes it before you even see it, I know what I did. It's like giving somebody $2 on the street. You don't may have to make an announcement that, hey, I gave that homeless lady $2, right? You know. You know when you, you tithe the church. Nobody got to know what you tithe. And for me, tithing comes in so many different ways. So uh, absolutely. Um, I'm going to come over here to fate to Hollywood Bound. Keep giving me your comments. Um, let me come over here to Hollywood Bound just to see. There might be some noise in the beginning. OK, I don't see any. Hey, Veronica. I don't see any comments over there. So I think we're good on this page. Um, Sheena Foss, shout out to Sheena Foss, one, another one of my Inner Circle members who has a new web series coming out, by the way. Look out for it. Um, it's called Why Am I Still Single? Gotta give you a shout out, Sheena. She says, um, yes, and releasing the attachment when you do it. That was a game changer when you told me to do that. Put it out there and it will come back in due time, whatever time that is. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, okay guys, um, I'm gonna wrap in a second, but I do just wanna leave you with that. You know, Again, I only talked about, I, I sat on this because I've been busy, but many of you were asking about what I thought about this. <laughs> I'm, my name, I'm calling her the sister with the billboard just because I don't know her name. Um, I forgot her name. But um, I don't want you to be um, affected by that and let that stop your momentum. You know, everyone who works with me, when we talk about marketing and who we're going to reach out to and what we want to manifest for ourselves, and yes, I mean manifest, not just pray and hope, but manifest, I'm very specific as to why anyone is on your list why any casting director or casting office is on your list. You have to know your why. You have to know why. What show is it? What is it about them? You know, I, a lot of my actors get confused because there'll be a casting office and there'll be like five casting directors. I'm like, who do I choose? That's when you have to do the work. You have to do the research. You got to see who you can find, who you can connect to. You, there might be five casting people in the afternoon. Um, hey, Marlboro, welcome. Hey, w William. There might be five casting directors in that office, but maybe as you do your research and go online, you can really only find three of them online, like only two of them on Twitter, and one's really heavily on Instagram. And then at that point, if it comes down to two, y'all, I just go by who has the nicest smile or whose vibe feels nice, or who do I envision when they get my mail, who would be happy to get it? And then I choose that person. Sometimes actors be like, what's the, how exactly? Like, it's not scientific. It really, I go off energy. I go off spirit. I go off my gut. I want each of you to be empowered to trust your gut more in this business. If it feels right, do it. If it don't feel right, don't. Right? Jasmine says, yes, manifestation. Absolutely. That is what we're doing. And listen, guys, you don't have to believe in this or not. And this is certainly what I'm going to be talking about in my new book, Playing Small, coming out August 1st, is about whether you think you are or think you aren't, you already are doing it. <laughs> so whether you believe in manifestation, law of attraction, it's happening. Right? Remember, we are like light switches, on or off, positive or negative, positive or negative. So we are either in tune or we're not in tune. But either way, we're bringing things into our life. We're bringing things, people, experiences into our life, whether we are aware of it or not. So if you don't like what you got coming into your energy, into your flow, into your ethers, into your space, check you. I got a mirror over here. I just check me first. I'll be like, what's going on? <laughs> Ignore my junkie office, right? I always go in first. If I'm not getting enough auditions, what do I need to do? Remember, guys, your agent gets 10%, uh, you get 90. Who's supposed to be doing 90% of the work? Why owe you? You, 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 you. So when you don't look at your agent first, talking about what they ain't doing. What are you doing? How can you step it up? So I want to encourage each and every one of you. If you do nothing else next week, I want you to create your billboard. Some of my clients already have one, but don't forget, you don't got to pay thousands of dollars of your rent money. You have a Facebook cover. Some of you have yet to create a Facebook business page yet, forgetting that you are a business entity, guys. Each and every one of us who are actors on here, we are a business. This is your business. 
So you should have a business page, have a Facebook business page at a minimum. That's in addition to your personal private page that you've been posting pictures of your, of your kids and your cousins and parties, right? Your business page is about your business. So when I come to research you before I book you, which people do, you, we will see that you're about your business. And once you have a Facebook business page, that's when you are able to actually post Facebook ads. How powerful is it if you say, you know, I'm going to invest $50 a month just doing an ad with my demo reel on it and targeting it to certain cities. So when you have a Facebook, I know I'm going on a side, a side thing, but it's still about marketing. When you have a Facebook business page, that's when you're allowed to boost a post. So you could upload your demo reel or upload an, a video about you or just you sharing something. If you have a web series, you can upload an episode, right? You have the banner at the top of your Facebook page, which is now your billboard that you don't have to pay for right? You can link that to your new web series, link it to your actor's access page, your IMDb page. You can upload a video, boost a post, and you, let's say you budget $50. Y'all spend that on uh, drinks and cocktails and lunches. Imagine spending, investing $50 in your own targeted ad, and you can target it by people in New York or LA or Atlanta, wherever you're based, based on their interests. This is the work that I do. And this is the stuff that I teach you. And I do it from a love-based place. None of it is thirsty because I'm not thirsty. I know my worth and I know what I have to offer, but it is my responsibility to showcase that. So I'm going to do anything I can to showcase that. And eventually the attention will come. You would not be watching Actors Daily Bread if I wasn't walking the walk. This is, this is episode 161. So if you have missed... Um, any part, any video, come on over to my YouTube channel and just binge when you get a chance. I'm going to go. Um, let me check a couple of these comments before we wrap. Thank you for hanging on me this Saturday morning. I got to prep for a client in 30 minutes. Uh, William says, uh, I have to box myself up and send to production and pop out like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> you better not, really, William. <laughs> you know what you're going to be, William? Arrested. <laughs> Y'all, y'all better stop playing these games. You know, y'all taking thinking outside the box too far. I ain't got no bail money, William. <laughs> hey, Vernika. Oh, gosh. Let me come on over here, uh, make sure there's no, see if there's any comments here on the Facebook. And for me, uh -oh. tithing comes in so many different it's, William. It's loud. I had to come over here to the... Uh, Okay, the comments are the same. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, you guys, looks like the comments have slowed down. Thank you for rocking with me. Again, don't be discouraged. There will, everybody has an opinion. Let's remember that. Everybody has an opinion. You gotta do what feels right for you. And if you're coming from love, you're doing good. And if you're looking for a new book recommendation, if you wanna do some more internal work, Marion Williamson's A Return to Love will get you all the way together. And just remember that, you know, I, that book is just a powerful book. Over Winfrey talks about it all the time because it's that good. And that one chapter, are you operating out of love or fear? That goes with our relationships, our, our, our auditions, you know what I mean? Like just all of that. We have so much, it's one or the other. So on that note, I'm going to wrap. Have an amazing day. My pleasure, Vernika. Thank you for hanging out. Vernika, Jasmine, Sheena, Trafina, Debrika, Marbra, William, Maggie. Oh, gosh. And for those of you who will watch this replay, I do appreciate you as well. Feel free to leave a comment. I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.